Hello, virtual world. Welcome to Silly Candy Sweet Reviews. Today, we're diving into a brand new snack crate. This one is from the Philippines. Let's dig in. Um, so this is from the Philippines. I'm very excited. Uh, there's a lot of interesting new things I've never tried. Once again, I am horrible at speaking another language and um, this is going I'm going to try not to butcher every word on here all the all the different items but I can't guarantee it won't happen because let's be honest I'm just really bad with it um, so there's so many things to try in here I'm not sure what to try first um, let's do I don't know first thing I'm gonna grab Oh, all right. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> First thing I'm going to grab. Hmm, I don't know. All right, this, according to the menu, because we get, I get a menu. This is called Sky Flakes Condensa. Uh, the undisputed king of crackers since the 1960s. The snack is known for its crisp taste and sweet filling. Enjoy either the condensed milk or chocolate variety. Um, they gave me one of each. I can't imagine the chocolate one tasting tasting bad, but boy, condensed milk, that's an interesting one. Let me let me try let me try chocolate. Let me try safety. Something that I know. But I don't know, it's the package makes them look like a saltine cracker. So it it looks like a saltine cracker. It smells sweet. Um there's like a sprinkling of something on there. I don't know if that's sugar or what. Um, so we'll try a bite and see how it tastes. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so um, it tastes almost like a stale cracker, but that might be just because of shipping. I don't know. I let it sit here for a while. Um, but it tastes like a regular, like, kind of saltine cracker with chocolate, milk, milk chocolate, like, frosting inside. It's not bad. It's interesting, though, because when I think saltine, I think saltine is something you eat when you're sick, when you need soup. Like, <laughs> I don't think saltine was sweet, so this is definitely unique as far as that goes. Um, I am going to try the condensed milk one because that just, that sounds just out there to me. Oh boy, yeah. That's, uh, same except, oh, and it's, it's, oh, it's, um, yeah, that's a weird scent. It looks like there's, like, a cracker in the center as well. Like, it's, like, it's three saltine crackers. It's hard to tell in this camera, but it's got, like, filling inside. It's not, it's, it's got, like, a sweetness. Oh. Oh, oh, I know that flavor. I know exactly what that tastes like. That tastes like Jelly Belly's buttered popcorn jelly beans. That's why that, that, oh, that's exactly what that tastes like. It tastes like something sweet trying to be popcorn. I know that sounds weird, but I swear to God, that's what it tastes like. I am not a fan of that flavor, by the way, from Jelly Belly. And I'm not a fan of this one. So we're going to put that over here. <laughs> um, the chocolate one was definitely better. As far as interesting goes, it's very interesting. I would say 5 out of 10. I'm middle of the road with it. It's kind of got the sweet and salty mix on it. But it is just definitely out there. And something like saltine crackers and sweetness just doesn't go together for me. But, um, I mean, overall, it's not terrible. It's just, eh. So I'm going to put it in the middle. Five out of ten. Let's see what else we got. Okay, let's continue on the realm of weird. So we have a, um, let me find it on the menu. Oh, is it Seabrew? I don't know what the name, the name brand. I'm just going to butcher it, so I'm not going to. It's dried mangoes. Oh, it's a province. Okay. Made with the finest mangoes grown in the Cebu 
province, and I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. Uh, these dried fruit chips provide a sweet and luscious taste of fresh mango with every bite. Okay. I'm pretty excited about this because I like mango. Um, and for the most part, I like, like, dried fruit isn't bad. Like, I've had dried pineapple and stuff, and it's pretty good. So, this is, um... This will be interesting. So you could see it's got like the uh, the sugars and stuff from it being dried out. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be like chewy. Oh, I'm going in for a round too. Okay. Yum. <laughs> oh, there's like a buttload of sugar in it. 32 grams of sugar. Well, that makes sense because it's so good. Um, I've had I've had dried fruits before, and like I said, it's very reminiscent to me of like a dried pineapple. It's got that sweetness to it and that chew, um, but that's definitely a nice mango flavor. This is really yum, and we don't have dried mangoes here in the U.S. We getting mangoes here is already like you know. Kind of a luxury it's not like something you just pick up randomly like an apple at a grocery store but to find like little mango chips like chewy sweet goodness like yeah like nine out of ten i don't, I don't you know what ten out of ten because there's nothing wrong with this this is perfect the way it is it's fruit a delicious fruit and dried fruit now unless you don't like the texture of dry fruit i can see why you might not like it but as far as flavor goes, like it's spot on and it's like, you know, it's it's a nice mango flavor and it's got a juiciness. It's not dry like chewing chew leather. It's 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 got some juiciness to it. I don't know how else to describe it. It's delicious. Um absolutely love this. Love this a lot more than I thought I would. Let's move on. I'm a little disappointed with this snack crate because they gave me two items now, twice, two things with with like the same thing with a different flavor. Uh, for the Sky Flakes, they at least said you can get either one and they gave me both. This one, they literally put it on the menu as this one and this one. Like it's taking up two spaces on the menu. It's the same brand, same thing, different flavor. Um, I already know what these taste like. I've had these. I've had these here in the US. And um, I've had the strawberry one. I've never had the blueberry one, so I will try this one. Um, but I know what they taste like. So this isn't anything, this isn't anything new. Um, it's, for those who don't know, I should probably read it. This sandwich cookie combines a crunchy biscuit with softness of cream, uh, sweet berries and cream. And the other one is just strawberries. I mean, it's, you could see it's got like the little cream in there. It's got some sugars in there. It's got like, like a jam in there. The cookie is kind of like a, um, <clears throat> uh, like a shortbread kind of cookie. So overall, I know it's going to be good and I like blueberries. Okay. Made a mistake of shoving that whole thing in my mouth because that was a lot. I should have taken that in two bites. Um, it's almost like if you've never had these cookies before, it's very reminiscent, almost like of a pop tart. It's got that fruity kind of filling. It's got that pastry around the outside, that cookie kind of dry, butteriness, um, and it's got like some creaminess, which is like you'd get from icing. Honestly, it reminds me of a Pop-Tart. I don't know. It's it's not bad. It's good. I give this an 8 out of 10. It's tasty, but it's nothing spectacular. And, and obviously, it's something I have tried before. Moving on. Okay. So, I got a handful of these strawberries and cream candies, I guess. Um, on the menu, it says, is it pochi gummies? Uh, <clears throat> pop one of these zingy strawberry and cream flavor gummies in your mouth. It won't take long to see. Oh, it won't take long for you to find out it's a favorite among the Filipinos. All right. So let's try. Oh, it's got like some sugar on it. So it's like a gummy. I can feel, it's almost like a marshmallowy gummy. 
Like it's got some softness. Whoa. Okay. So the gummy itself, and and I'm pro I might get hate. Very much texture reminds me of like a stale peep. <laughs> Um, I happen to like peeps. So for me, the only way to eat a peep is when it's stale. You gotta let that sit out for a few days. And for whatever reason, to me, it makes it taste the peep, makes the peep taste better. Um, so it's got that marshmallowy gumminess to it with the sugar coating. The flavor is really good. The strawberry flavor tastes kind of artificial strawberry. It reminds me of strawberry Nestle Quick. That's almost exactly what this tastes like. Like, I flash back to my childhood and I was like, oh man, that's like that. And, and we're not talking about the strawberry in the, in the, in the bottle. That, that, that's nasty. I'm talking about the strawberry quick, like the old school powdered stuff. The stuff of my childhood. That's what this tastes like. I honestly really enjoyed these. So, 9 out of 10. Great job. Alrighty, moving on to some cake. Looks like cake. Feels like cake anyway. Fudgy bar. This delicious cake bar is loaded with a generous amount of ooey gooey fudgy goodness, making it the perfect treat to crush your chocolate cravings. Um, it, it feels to me like it might be like a sponge cake um, filled with chocolate. I mean, I feel like you can't go wrong when it comes down to chocolate filled sponge cake, let's be honest. We can, we can talk about this wrap job here. Um, this, this cake, it, it looks almost like a brownie, but I like the fact that they put like a little, like a uh, liner around it. So, you know, you don't have a huge mess. I'm just going to cut off a little chunk. Um, okay. I do, it's hard to see there, but you can see that darkened spot. That is definitely some filling. Let's see. Yeah. You can see that there's a band of filling in there. Of course, it's not like the picture, which shows it like overflowing, but you know, pictures always lie. Let's give it a shot. Okay, very nice chocolate flavor, very moist cake. It honestly reminds me, it is like a, um, maybe uh, maybe like a ding dong without the chocolate, hard chocolate coating. Um, just all around nice flavor and it's nothing unusual or spectacular. But they're good, like very tasty. Eight out of 10 tasty. Um, would eat again. Uh, we have one more item left, so let's give it a shot. Okay, so last item of, of the day. This is the, um, it's called Exo Hard Candy. A deliciously sweet and irresistibly smooth hard candy these Filipino favorites feature rich flavors of either coffee or butter caramel. Um, okay, I've got, I got, I got both. I got both. So, um, I've had coffee hard candies a million times over. Um, but butter caramel is different. So I am going to try this flavor. Ooh. I'm sure the coffee one's really good, but this butter caramel one, top notch. It, um, it is, it's butterscotch. That's, I don't know if they just call it something different, but it tastes like butterscotch. It's got a really nice flavor. It's a hard candy you'd suck on for a while. Very similar to like a Werther's original. Um, not, not anything bizarrely unique, but tasty. And, um, I like little hard candies. So for me, that's, um, that's a 9 out of 10 material. Um, I would give it a 10 out of 10 if it blew me away, but it's not like anything, again, in, insanely spectacular. It was just tasty. So I like it. I, you know what? This Filipino box has not given me anything to be super disappointed by. So I've actually enjoyed a lot of the items in here. But let's go to the best of the worst and see what I liked the best and the worst, obviously. Okay, so for me, the worst was the condensed milk Sky Flakes little crackers. Um, not for me. <laughs> the buttery sweet flavor is just off-putting to me. 
And like I said, it reminded me very much of like a Jelly Belly, but not in a good way. Like one of their buttered popcorn ones. My mom is a huge fan of that flavor. She would probably dig these, but just it's, it's a not for me. Is it the worst thing I've ever had? No. Um, but uh, I would not go seek them out to try them again. Just, nah. As far as the best goes, um, that's gonna have to be <clears throat> the little strawberry candies, uh, the the pochi gummies. Again, probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, I could see why it's a favorite because I really love the flavor, and it's I don't know maybe it got extra bonus points because the flavor like made me reminisce about my childhood. So um, I liked the texture, I liked the flavor. It was an all around good candy. Um, there was a lot of other good things in this box so far, so I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, I will be back with the next video. I'm actually going to record it right now because I have time and we will do the second half of the box and hopefully the second half will be just as good as the first half. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this tasting adventure. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions of what I should try again, please leave that in the comment section. I always love interacting with you guys. Um, if you thought my video was sweet, hit that like button for me as it really does help my channel grow. Um, hit the subscribe and notification bell if you'd like to know when the next video goes live. And I promise not to wait so long in between videos. I'll at least try. Thanks very much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.